YouTube, what's up? So, just wanted to give you guys a quick update video of a slash. Uh, in the last video with AJ, you've seen that we had a little bit of carnage happen. And then in the previous skate park video, you guys seen that uh, TT hit a tree pretty hard. So, uh, I went ahead tonight, took some time, looked the slash over just to see if there's any other damage uh, that I seen that was noticeable. So, there's a couple of things. Uh, the first thing is the drive shaft that we seen in the video with AJ and the big old, you know, uh, big old mountain of clay and dirt. There was that one there. I'm not exactly sure which hit broke the drive shaft, but, you know, one of them did. And, uh, you know, AJ, AJ be ripping it up. So, um, we have that. And then also, the side that TT backed the truck into. The side of the truck that TT hit the tree with. But like that. Um, <laughs> the RPM A-arm that I just replaced is bent. Let me show you. Alright guys, so if you can see here, here is the A-arm or the side of the truck that hit the tree. It didn't crack it, but you can definitely see that it's bent compared to this guy over here. This guy's straight, and this has a little bit of a bend to it. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know what I can do about that, but um, it, doesn't seem, it doesn't seem to affect the truck any. Let me flip this around here and I'll show you the carnage from the clay hill. So here is here is the carnage from the clay hill, dirt hill little RC adventure that AJ had. And let's see if I can get the lighting and the angle right here. You guys can actually see in there. One side of the U-joint is gone. See that in there? So, so that's what happened with that. The caster block still looks fine. Don't see any damage other than that got ripped out. Other than that, that's really it. So, like I said, guys, those couple of items there are the only items that need attending to. Um, I already ordered some drive shafts. I'm actually getting the hardened or heavy duty drive shafts. Uh, just for the front, I'll probably order the rears here in a little while, but I ordered me some of those. They'll be here this week and I'll get those replaced and just kind of go from there. Let me know what you guys think about that rear A-arm. I'm also going to look a little bit further into how tight my slipper clutch is. I've noticed the last two days when we've been out there bashing, I can hear it slipping in there. So I'm going to take a look at that and see what that situation is. Um, but really, other than that, guys, the slash is just taking a beating. Like I said... Honestly, I'm actually surprised that nothing else has really broken on this. Again, I'm comparing my experience to like the Rustler. Totally different setup, uh, different material. The four, the slash 4x4 has beefier parts on it, beefier plastic, so I get it. But still, I'm just amazed. Cause, I mean, you, you, you guys seen how we're bashing this thing around. We're, you know, we're, we're jumping it, we're hitting stuff with it, we're just going crazy with it. So, so anyways... I'm out. I gotta go to bed. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share the videos. I appreciate all the subscribers, all the new subscribers, all the ones that have stuck around, that have been with me. Uh, I'm back. Thanks. Stay tuned. A lot more to come. Appreciate it.